All right, this is our last lesson. And I always like to have fun with this one. So it made me a little sad to think that I wasn't gonna be able to torture you guys while we were in class. But then I thought of this great idea. I'll just show you on here anyways. And I'm going to put the effect where you can't just fast forward through the video. So ha ha ha. No, it's not that bad, I promise. Okay. So the quadratic formula is a equation that helps you solve uh, quadratics and it will always work. Meaning if you have like a decimal or maybe you think um, it's unfactorable, this will work all the time. So if you think, hey, it's unfactorable, use the quadratic formula and you will get your final answer. So there is a song to help you remember what it is. So, here we go. Yay, and then I say it again. And then, of course, I would have you guys sing it. And then I'm like, uh, duh, let's try it faster. And then we're like, you know what? That's not fast enough. Let's go faster. And then I would tell you guys, you know what? Not everyone's singing. I think you guys need some help. And then we would go really slow to try to memorize the words. See how tired the poor little guy is? And then we would do one last time. I'd probably do a lot more, but let's do the fastest. Ta -da! Okay, so hopefully I'll get that stuck in your head and then the next couple of days I would play it over and over and over and you guys would be like, no! But it's all in good fun. So again, that formula is for you guys to be able to solve quadratics. Um, it requires a little bit more math, but honestly, it's not very hard. You're just taking your numbers and you're plugging them in and it's going to give you an answer. And it's going to give you two answers. So let's practice. So number one, solve using the quadratic formula, fill in the blanks. Okay. So A is the first coefficient. So in front of X, there is no number, but since there's no number, we assume there's a one because there's only one X squared. In front of the X is two, so that is our B. And then our constant is a minus 35, so that's a negative 35. Also, whenever you're using the quadratic formula, you wanna make sure that it's equal to zero. So if there was anything on this other side, like let's say a negative five, you would add five to both sides and then make this zero, okay? So negative B, so B is two, plus or minus the square root of B squared, so B is two, minus four A, which is one, C, which is negative 35, all over 2A, which is 1. And then I just start multiplying, okay? I'm going to write it off to the side since we have a little bit more room. So 
x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root. All right, 2 times 2 is 4 plus, oh, that's a minus. Well, it's going to be plus. Uh, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 35. Let me get a calculator. One forty all over two a okay so two times one is two okay now I can simplify the inside of my square root some more negative two plus or minus square root four plus one forty is one forty four let's simplify it some more x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root, which is 12. Okay, and then this is the part where you guys need to make sure that you're watching what you're doing. So this says plus 12 or minus 12. So we can have negative 2 plus 12, or we can have negative 2 minus 12. And they're both being divided by 2. Negative 2 plus 12. 12 is 10, and then negative 2 minus 12 is negative 14, and then divide by 2, let's scroll down a little bit, we get 5 and we get negative 7. <clears throat> so we can say x can equal 5 or x can equal negative 7. Okay? So, for this next one, what would my a be? What would my b be? And what would my c be? Good. We have 3, 7, and 2. And I'm going to write it off to the side. So we have more room. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. Okay, let's change colors. So we're going to have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 multiplied by a. and multiplied by C, all over to A, okay? So my A is three, so we got a three here and a three here. My B is seven, so I got a seven and a seven, and then my C is two, so we get a two here. So this is negative seven, plus or minus the square root, seven times seven, what's seven times seven? Good, 49, minus, and then you're gonna multiply all of these together, and what do you get? Well, I would do four times three, which is 12, and then 12 times two, which is 24. Multiply the bottom, three, times 2, which is 6. As you can tell, it's not very difficult. You're just doing simple addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. 49 minus 24 is 25. Okay, negative 7 plus or minus. The square root of 25 is 5. Okay, what do I do with my plus or minus here? We're going to give it a plus and a minus. So negative seven plus five and negative seven minus five. So then that way you have your two answers. Okay, negative seven plus five is negative two. Negative seven minus five, five, six, seven, negative 12. And then simplify 
negative one third and negative two. So how many possible answers do we have? We have two possible answers. X can either be negative one third or it can be negative two. All right, let's take a look at one last one. Oh, I can write it over here. X can equal negative one half or negative two. I think that's what we said. Oh, one third. One third. Okay, one more. What is A? What is B? And what is C? Okay. So negative B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC. A is 1. C is negative 20 all over 2A. All right. So negative 1, negative 1 plus or minus the square root. 1 times 1 is 1, plus, because that's a negative times a negative, 4 times 1 is just 4, 4 times 20, let's see, 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 80, all over 2, so negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 81, negative 1 plus or minus 9, okay. And then I'm going to split this up. What is my first one going to be? Negative 1 plus 9. And then my second one, what's my second one? Negative 1 minus 9. Let's see, 8 over 2, which is 4. Bam, bam, bam. Negative 1 minus 9. Negative 10, bam, 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 and what the heck, one more time. We'll do, I like 1.5. All right, good job, guys. You did it. We're all done. Woo, celebrate. Have a good summer. Bye.